We're gonna start close guard, okay? That's a very common situation to fight, okay? So there's a very strong attack right here from close guard that anyone can do, okay? There's two ways for you to go for the triangle. I'll show you. Um, the first one is when you're flexible, and the second when you're not that flexible, okay? So first, you need to go with both hands under the arm, and you bring your, your knees to your chest. You want to hug the opponent like over the arm like this. Both arms. And then you're gonna start reaching the belt. Okay? And when you reach the belt, you go more with your armpit over his shoulder. Okay? You don't wanna go on the side because then he can lift the arm out. Like this. Okay? So when you go over the shoulder, like that, try to lift the arm out. Now it's hard. You see my shoulder is touching his face the whole time. Okay? Right here. So right now it's hard for Jonathan to posture, try to posture them. It's hard for him to posture, okay? The only way for him to posture is bringing the shoulder out, inside like this. Now he's gonna start like posturing up, okay? But every time he goes like that, go like this, he give me chances like to go to a plata, okay? Every time. So when you're holding on the belt here, this, okay? And you're putting, start like putting the shoulder out like that, you immediately start putting this knee like right close to his jaw, okay? Because that way it's harder for him to defend. And then you go for the omoplata here. Okay, when you go for the omoplata, he's gonna try to stand up, right? Right away, you gotta control the, the collar here. Okay? And that way, when you stand up, you're gonna be attached with him with this grip. So the grip is between your legs, not here. Okay? So just to let you know, um, what your opponent can do when you start reaching the belt, okay? But if you follow him with the shoulder, okay, just like moving your body side to side, it's gonna be hard for him to escape, for example. He's here, right, so I go over, I start breaking his posture, I can use my hand here on the head, but sometimes if I just try to go here, posture up, sometimes it's fire, you see? So I grab his head, bring my knees to my chest, and I grab his belt, okay? Of course, if he doesn't have the belt, then you gotta do something else, okay? But first, we gotta use the belt, okay? So just try to move your shoulder inside. You just keep falling, try, try. You just keep falling right here, okay? So now I need to face the, uh, in this angle here, okay? I need to be sideways. I cannot be with both shoulders on the mat. You gotta be sideways here, okay? Okay, so now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna step my foot on the hip, on the hip or on the mat. Okay, my left foot. You can put on the hip right here, okay? And then you're gonna start escaping your hips out, like this, okay? And when you're doing that, usually your opponent will try to come forward as well, if he knows what's happening here, okay? So you're gonna step on the hip, and then start escaping the hips, or you can step on the floor, okay? After you step on the floor to escape, you immediately put your foot on the hip right here. Turn around. So I'm here, okay? Okay. I can go here, look. One, and then two. So this will be a frame for me to keep and maintain my opponent far from me. Even though he's trying to move forward, now I stiffen my legs, I keep my knees aligned with my hip, okay? Every time you try to move forward, I, I'm sliding back. Don't fold yourself like this, okay? So keep pushing my way with both feet on the hip, okay? So that way you create the angle to start your attacks, okay? All right, again, come here, step one, break his posture, grab his belt, okay? So now when I'm here, I keep my shoulder close to his head, okay? Just keep my hip, and now I'll close my feet around his waist, okay? So now I'm gonna control his uh, wrist right here, okay? If you're flexible, you can easily pass your foot like this, okay? And the great thing of this uh, triangle, uh, it's super, super powerful, and it's really hard for him to posture, right? And you keep holding the belt the whole time until you get in this position here, okay? Your calf over his neck, like this. Now you lock the triangle. It's a lot, and then you can let go the, the belt, and then start adjusting the figure four, okay? 
You don't need to cross the arm to the other side first. Okay? So close the triangle first here. Okay? And from here you can tap your opponent. You don't try to do this. Okay? Because maybe when you try to pass the arm to the other side, that's the moment your opponent is going to pass the legs over you or posture up like that. Okay? So as I close the triangle, notice that I have an angle here, right? So I'm more like with my leg in this position here, okay? I'm not with both sides of my hips on the floor. I have only my right side here on the floor. So I can lock the triangle easily, okay? Easier, sorry. So now I'm gonna bring his neck towards my, my thigh and then I tap him off. So right here I cannot bring his head down towards my belly. It needs to go against my thigh. If his head is facing this way, I need to grab this ear, turn, and then push his neck against my thigh here while I'm doing the triangle. So I'm here, I go like this. Then I finish him, okay? You got it? Okay, again. So here, one, break his posture. See that I grab his head, okay? Grab the belt right in the middle of his back. My shoulder touches his head, escape my hip, and I escape my hip outside. Now I post right here. So my opponent will be in this situation. Sometimes you, your opponent will try to grab this leg here to step over to the half guard. Yeah, like that. That's when you go here. Okay, and then you step your leg either around the arm like this, but I like inside here. You see, like I'm not like that flexible to, to bring my leg here. So when you're not that flexible, you gotta push him out a little bit. Okay, he's gonna try to take the arm out, right, right here. So you gotta have the perfect angle to get the position, okay? So if you try to keep the knee close to your chest, it's gonna be hard for you to step the leg over. So push him out, okay, with your leg. And then keep this leg pushing out, and this one you bring over. Bring the knee towards your chest, and then step over it. Now you grab, and then figure four. Now move his head towards your this is a this triangle here there's a, a old school guy no not that old school but he's a great coach of Mario Hayes he started this triangle and Nicholas Mergali does this triangle as well yeah, every time he close the guard it's like boom pretty much fatality right so you close the guard reach your belt it's super hard to escape also good to campus he does this triangle really well okay so definitely this triangle is very dangerous, especially if you have long legs. It'll work really well for you. But let's say if you don't have long legs or, or you're not that flexible, you control here, you escape the hips. You see that I'm always turning sideways here, okay? And make sure like my shoulder's on his, on his head. Okay, John's gonna try to move the arm out, so I'm here. Another way you can do the triangle, turn this way, okay. Um, you know, like I mentioned, sometimes you feel like when you escape the hips here, okay, you feel you can't pass the leg over the arm, right? So another way you can grab is like this. If you face your hand toward, with your thumb towards the mat like this, the palm up, and then you're going to grab a secret here, okay? And then you're going to bring this, you're going to curl and then bring his wrist against his, his chest. And then you're gonna step the leg around the, the arm like this. And then you sink his in, inside between your legs. And then you're gonna step the leg over, okay? So now you control the shin and figure four. You can try to figure four from here, but sometimes your, your arm is gonna be uh, under the leg, right? For sure you need to go over here. And then you close the triangle. Once you close, you finish, okay? Again, don't try after you close the triangle to like, Bring down to this side, okay? So we're gonna work only on this submission. So see which grip is better for you, if it's this one here, or if it's this one here. This is for more like unflexible people, right? So they grab like this and they go like this, okay? And then they sink the, the arm between the legs. It's kinda like you, you dig in the arm between your legs, okay? This one here, for sure, if you can go over the bicep right here, that'll be more effective and faster. Because what you cannot let your, uh, your opponent do here when, you, when you're on this situation is 
letting him grab your your uh, your ankle. Try to grab my ankle there. Yes. That's the moment you pass. You're gonna bring him out, and then you pass his leg over. Okay. Because if you grab the ankle here and you sink your foot between his legs, that's gonna start sliding the head up like this, and it's gonna start getting the half start. Okay. So you, we're gonna try to keep here. Okay. Always. All right. Okay, so let's say when I get here, okay, I grab in this way, and I step over like that. Let's say I can lock the triangle. Okay, he's doing a really good job trying to smash me here. Move forward, move forward. Yes, it's hard for me to lock the triangle, okay? So we're gonna also do the, I call it the cabana. It's like a tent, right? It's like a tent. You make a strangle, a choke right here. You go and close the legs like this, and you go with your hand around your leg like this, okay? And you grab that squib, okay? And then you're gonna extend your leg and your arm. So your arms around the knee will help you to squeeze the knees, okay? So after you get here, you go like this, and now you just extend arms and legs, and then you tap your foot, okay? It's super, uh, strong. This is when you can't lock the triangle. Okay. Big fingers. All right. So the first submission is a triangle. Okay. So you go one. Break my posture. Yeah. Break the posture. Grab the belt. Keep the hip. Okay. Pulse the feet on the hip, on the waist. Step the leg over. Boom. You got the triangle. Let's say you can't lock the triangle. You go for the cabana, and then next step, okay? Or you close the triangle, and then force my head towards this side. Okay? If you're not that flexible, you grab the hand under like this. Because now, look, it's hard for me to reach the, the ankle right here. So now he's gonna bring my hand to my chest, and then he's gonna step over my elbow, now he's there, okay? And you know, when you're doing a triangle, you're also always uh, able to do the omoplata as well, right? Anytime like you're gonna take the head out, you can start getting the omoplata, okay? Triangle omoplata in this situation walks together like really well, okay? We just uh, do that over and over, okay? Any question? If you what? Like this? That's okay. Yeah, it's the same. Like my, the most important is the head down, right? So if their head goes like this in the triangle, you know, I see like sometimes come here, it goes the triangle. Me. The most important thing when you're setting up the triangle here, like if your opponent does this, right? It's hard for you to lock the triangle. So naturally, you need to. Grab the head of your opponent. Like you're gonna do like a sit up, and then grab the head, and then bring the chin to the chest. Yeah. Once that's happened, like so hard for me to posture. If I stand up the leg, that's okay. You keep, you keep doing the triangle. Okay. All right. Let's go one, two, three. Two things I want to show here is let's say if Andy is trying to get the position of me here. Grab the belt, right? So notice that the key is to not let your opponent do this, okay? That's very important. So your armpit is always over his shoulder. If he goes, you follow him, follow me, yes. Keep close, okay? So let's say when Andy's trying to go for the triangle, going right here, and then I'm grabbing his pants like this, he needs to pull the hand to him and kick the leg out, yeah. And the triangle will happen in the fight of your opponent's trying to grab your leg and you're trying to open his arm, okay? So that's when he's gonna stiff his arm here and that's gonna be so easy for you to pass the leg through, okay? So let's say I'm gonna try to grab the, the leg and he's just gonna avoid me, go. That's, you see, that's when he goes. Because once he's here, man, it's over. Go ahead and pass the leg. Now it's hard for me to posture up. And then he's gonna easily get the triangle. 
So just do that. Kick the leg. Yeah. And don't let your partner, uh, your opponent, step over your, your leg to half guard, okay? Yes. Um, when you're doing a triangle where you put your foot on the arm, are you putting your foot on more of like their forearm or their bicep? It's more like the elbow and the bicep, like between forearm and bicep, it's like right here. Because this is like the part that has more distance. You know, you go like right here. If you go here, maybe your foot gets stuck. So you go right here. It's like a, it's like a narrow, right? So you go, you imagine an arrow like this? So you go like this. Okay? Yes? No. No. That's why, like, you keep hold. No. So if you can, then you can do the cabana choke that we did. Uh, or you lock the triangle. And then the way you cross the arm is like this. Let's say when Andy got the triangle over here. So the way he crossed the arm to the other side is underhooking the arm like this. Here, it's up, and then he's keeping the hip. Just underhook the arm. You don't need to drag. Because when you try to drag, that's what they... You got it? Okay. All right, so now let's say your opponent doesn't have the belt. Let's say you're fighting and then the belt is off, right? So you can't control the belt. So the way you're gonna do here, you can do the same hug, right? Underhooking the arms and getting here, here. But now Andy needs to open my lapel and pass my lapel under my armpit. And then he's gonna control the lapel here. So now look, it's still like good, okay? So he's gonna control like this. It's a little bit different, but it works really well. Plus when he pull the lapel, he's gonna make me turn like this, you know? More he pulled the lapel towards the outside or extending his arm, more I face this way. And easier for him to step the leg over. Okay? But it's the same concept. You're gonna escape your hips, right? Out, scoop out, get the angle, and then make sure you turn your opponent and then you go through here. Okay? And again, if you can't get a triangle, your leg gets stuck, you can't pass, like you go for a rumble plot. Okay? And there's a great way for you to set up the Moplata here as well. It's like, let's say my opponent's doing a really good job on, on not allowing me to, to pass the leg over here. The way you can do the Moplata is like letting go the, the belt really quick and pass the, the arm under your leg like this and grab the, the lapel here. Because now if you try to posture, try to posture. Right? It's so hard for you. Now I can start framing, like pushing his his neck, his head here, and then I go with my knee here. So now I can start the other night, so we'll like this, okay? So now you can add these two moves. Like, it doesn't have the belt. You're gonna go under the armpit here, okay? You can make this with. And make sure the whole lapel is on this side. Don't let the lapel get stuck here. That's the lapel all the way. Okay, and then you go from here, okay? Triangle, right? Or like, he's doing a really good job. I'm getting stuck here. Super quick, I do this. Look. I let go of the lapel and I pass the, the arm under my leg and I go right here. Okay? So now I'm going to start bringing my knee in front of his face. Then I go for the clock. Okay? So let's practice this right now. And then after that, we're going to do a specific training from this position. Your goal is only to get a triangle. Okay? Oh, one more thing uh, that we do. With the lapel or without, before I move forward. Let's say your, your opponent, when he's here, you got the belt, right? And your opponent start posture like this, right? Start doing this. Put your hand on the floor, bridge. He's gonna pose the hand on the floor, then you try and boom, like that. Okay, so you do like a bridge and then force him to pose and then you pass the leg Because when they pose like this, it's hard for you to, to do anything, right? So that's another option, okay? All right, so one, two, three. We're gonna do a specific sparring, okay? So we're gonna start with the hand on the belt, okay? Over, like this. Okay, we start for you. The goal of the personal bond is just to attack triangles on the flat. So you're not gonna change your grip. Your goal is to be here the whole time. Okay. So if I if I get out like this, then reset. Okay. So 
you know that's the only way for our opponent to get out is like limping the arm, right? So make sure you always attach with your opponent here. Follow me this way. Okay, and then escape the hips and start trying to go for that time. Of course your partner knows what's coming, okay? But it's still hard for, for me to defend. Very hard, okay? Um, if you feel like it's hard for you to pass a leg over, you can grab uh, under your legs, okay? Grab under the leg. Yeah, like this. And grab four fingers inside the collar, okay? And before I go to Moplata, you need this knee over the face right here, like on the jaw, right? Because that way your leg is gonna be free after you pass a leg over. Okay, it's gonna be harder for me to stop you. Okay? To stop Andy, sorry. Right there. Uh, that's the first round. The second round, we're gonna start the lapel. Okay? On the lapel, sometimes you can also play kind of like a spider guard, like putting your foot on the lapel. This foot right here on the lapel. And extend the leg. Because now look, it's hard for me to get close and then he can go for the triangle. You can do that during the sparring too, okay? But in the beginning, we start just with the lapel, like that, the close guard. Again, if we escape here, reset. The goal is to attack from here, okay? The goal is to maintain the position. And the third round, he's gonna pass the leg under, and then arm under the leg, sorry, and then he's gonna grab four fingers inside the collar. Then we start from here, go, fight. And he's gonna fight here. See this frame that Andy's doing is very important. Either with the frame, or sometimes you can grab four fingers in the collar and start using your knuckles on the tro throw of your opponent like this. The more pressure I put against him, more I get choked. So I'm gonna try to get out. That's when he's gonna get the omoplata. Okay, and once you get the omoplata or the triangle, try to get the finish, okay? Try to finish. And whoever is the failure, try to get out, yeah. You guys got it? So we're gonna do three rounds, okay? Uh, three minutes attacking, three minutes defending, okay? And then we go like that, and after that, we go no more sparring. All right, let's go one, two, three.